Hey guys, Cody Schwab here, and today in this video, I'm going to talk about how I make my scrape paint or the tools that I use to make my scrape paintings and kind of how I use them and why. And uh, basically, the whole reason that I got into the scrape paintings was because of Gerard Richter. I stumbled across him, saw his work, and that really inspired me. Um, so, a lot of the scrape paintings I do is because I learned about him, just as the Pollock style paintings I do is because I learned about Pollock. Um, so they are kind of influential to me. But anyway, let me go ahead and show you some of the tools that I use to make the scrape paintings that I do, and I will talk about how I use them and um, the effects that they make. All right, let's start with some of the, the flatter pieces. Uh, this little trowel thing, um, I use this, be I like this because you can kind of put the paint on there and then put it down and then scrape it either at an angle or flat. This really only works for flat canvas like that right there where it's unstretched because the problem is is if you have a canvas like you know one of these when you're trying to scrape down um let me just kind of show you what i'm talking about if you put this on a canvas it'll create sometimes it'll create like a a gap and like say if you're on the edge here and then you push down in the middle the same pressure that's on the edges is in the middle so this thing is okay for scraping certain parts but if it's where you know where it's pushing in on the canvas it doesn't always create like a flat scrape um, so sometimes this tool is really good sometimes it doesn't always work out um, but I like this thing because you can put the paint on there and it'll hold the paint as you put it on and apply it um, so that's one thing that I use I also use these like little flat scrapers like you would use for the drywall um, these are actually really good for smaller paintings. I like these a lot for the smaller paintings um, because you can, you know, put the paint on there and scrape it down. But the same thing happens, like, it, because it's flat, it doesn't apply the same pressure, you know, if it's over here to the corner as it does the center. Um, so I'm not sure if that makes sense, but because it's flat and the canvas is going pushed in, it applies a different amount of pressure to each side. But you know, I, I have used them and it's okay. Um, I've actually made some, you know, quite a few paintings with them. This right here is uh, just a squeegee. This is my favorite tool hands down for making straight paintings. I use this squeegee right here to make this painting. Um, Rust Anchor, I also used it to make this one, um, which is there and back. So both of these paintings, I use this squeegee right here. Um, what I like about the squeegee is because it's soft on the edge, it kind of, it'll, it will flow with the painting. So even if you're pulling it back, because it's soft, um, the little rubber part will follow the, like the indent of the canvas. So where this, this may not apply the same pressure if it's not flat, this one will kind of help with that because with the squeegee, the rubber part will bend with the canvas. So even if you're pushing down and there's more pressure on one side, it will, because it'll bend, it'll kind of uh, help even that out. So I really like using this rubber scraper. Now the last stuff that I use is corrugated plastic. Um, it's, you know, you can see the lines and I cut it. Um, I really like using corrugated plastic because it bends and you can kind of clip the corners so that it doesn't leave these scrape marks in the painting as you're painting. Um, and then this is just a bigger version. This one I found, you know, just in the trash. Um, this one I actually found, I actually bought at Home Depot, it was a few bucks. Um, but I like it because, you know, with this I can do a large painting pretty easily because I can put the paint on the scraper or I can put it on the piece and scrape a large area at once. It's like three feet. So I can do like a whole three foot painting at one time. So that's essentially what I use. Um, that's pretty much it for the scraped paintings um, that I make and the tools that I use. So it really kind of depends. You, you kind of have to try the tools out for you. Um, I'd say for the flatter canvas, these are actually really good because they're flat anyway. So you're gonna get like a nice even thing. Uh, a lot of times I use this for the bigger pieces because it covers a wide area. And then for smaller pieces, I use like um, a little squeegee. I have used like a bigger squeegee like this, um, but it, for me, it wasn't as good as like using a smaller one like that. That was more pliable, um, but that's it. So. If you like this video and you found it helpful, please check out my other videos, check out my links, and uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I'll catch you guys in another video. Take care.